celebrate the season by making feather extension that can harness the beautiful light of autumn. See them sparkle underneath the autumn sun, and they are also strong enough to be washed and blow dry. Materials and Tools Feathers Fabric glue Scissors Some beads And a pointy tool like a toothpick Let's begin, shall we? Take your feathers, arrange them accordingly to their size The largest one goes first and the smallest one goes to the end Take the large feather, cut the center cord where you think it will fit your beads. Cut rest of the feather a little bit before the after feather ends. Hmm, you're probably wondering what is an after feather. The after feather is the part that looks like fluffy chick-like feathers. By removing partial of the after feather, it will help the extension to look more realistic and to float better. Choose your favorite color beads. Insert the feather through the bead. If the center cord of the feather is big, it's pretty hard to pull it through. With a little help from the tool, pull the beads to the near end of the feather. Do the same to the rest of the feather. Remember not to pull the bead all the way to the end of the feather where it can be very fragile. Keep in mind that we will connect the feathers where the beads are. Well, you don't need a bee for the last feather. This part is pretty important in my opinion. Take a pointy tool like a toothpick or so. Try to pull the feather out from the bee. If you don't mind the feathers being caught underneath the beads, you can skip this part. But I like mm, a bit more realistic look. I think the extra feather along the beads help the feathers transition more naturally. I am using the fabric glue. Take the second feather and dab a small amount of glue on the tip. Insert it to the bead. Be sure to hold your feather carefully so the beads on the feather that you're working on will not fall out. The reason why I use fabric glue is because when it's dry, it will not dissolve in water and it's also strong enough to be blow dry. Take your pointy tool again. To ensure each bead are secure firmly, dab small amount of glue on each of the beads. I always like to go for the extra mile, so flip it over and fill in some glue on the back of the beads. If you like to wear your feather extension like the salon style, um, these few steps are quite critical. Because if you don't bond them properly, when you wash them, they do fall out. Be sure to let them dry completely before wearing them or washing them. You see that fluffy part that does not transition very well? Just take the scissor and cutting it in an upward position. Of course, be sure to let it completely dry. And you can play around with different color and length. Now you're finished. May you be- Wait a minute. How do you attach the feathers to the hair? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Let's try again. There are two ways to attach the feather. Method one, with the clip-on. You will need one of the hair extension clip-on and core ends. If you don't know what they are, don't worry. If you have some old wire or ribbon necklace, you will find these little clasps at the end. You can reuse the core ends by removing the wire like so. There are different kind of core ends, so examine your necklace carefully and use the one that you don't want to wear anymore. Insert your feathers to the base of the core ends. Give it a good squeeze, then it will be nice and secure. Loop the hook to the clip-on. Close the joint and it's finished. The clip-on is always easy to wear and easy to remove. If you don't care for washing the extension with your hair, this would be the perfect solution. Method 2, the micro beads. Most of you guys probably already knew this method. It's these tiny little silicone beads that holds the feathers to your hair. You will need one of the silicone beads and a circular band. 
first thing you need to do is loot the beads to the band. Get your hair ready for the extension. Also have your feather on hand. Grab a small piece of hair and loop it over the circular band. Now pull the band and loop the hair through the bead. Take your feather and insert it to the bead. Take your jewelry plier and give it a good squeeze. There you have it, your very own DIY blink feather extension. Ooh, look, it's sparkling there. I really like this project because compared to the salon style feather extension, it is so much more affordable. Just like the salon style feather extension, it can also be washed and blow dry. Not to mention it also sparkle underneath the autumn sun. If you want to know where to buy and how much it costs for the material, please check my blog. I will provide a link in the description box. So enjoy the autumn glimmer and capture it through your hair.